Amy and I aren't really the type to toot our own horn, but we're basically the Dear Abby and Dear Alan of Fargo Moorhead. So if you ever find yourself with love issues, you go ahead and go on the Be on the Playhouse page at Y94.com. We'll tackle them a time or two a week here on the show. Love doctors, love doctors, you're the love gurus. I recently started dating a man. We met on Match and really hit it off. We have so much in common, and I just love hanging out with him. But there's one thing. We've been together for about five months now, and he has yet to change his relationship status on Facebook. The awkward thing is he is listed as widowed. His wife passed away about seven years ago. I think enough time has passed, seven years, with him being able to go ahead and let that go. Should I say something, or would that be insensitive to what he's been through? I don't think it's insensitive to what he's been through, because he... Well, he is still considered a widow. He is in a new relationship. So I think you ask him, say, how would you feel about changing your status on Facebook? And then just see what he has to say. And if he's not comfortable with it, then yes, then you're pushing it too much. Just see what he has to say, but don't keep going at it. I mean, five months, you guys are obviously in a relationship. I don't think that you should focus on him taking off the fact that he's widowed. I think Mm -hmm. you should focus on the fact that you've been together for five months and you would like for it to be... Facebook official for your relationship and, and then I mean just it kills two birds with one stone I mean it, it you know he would have to remove that I yeah, was a terrible way to word that that was oh, the best uh, it accomplishes saying. two things at once <laughs> it accomplishes boy I'm just gonna awkwardly walk away from that one but I think if you focus on that mm-hmm. well, that's about the worst way I could have put what that what if though you change yours like because if he would have to accept yeah, it. Then, you tag yeah. him in it, then he can accept it and see what he does from there. Yes. But then that's awkward, though, if he doesn't. Maybe you have the conversation first. Yes, that would accomplish two things at once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah usually the saying works just fine. <laughs> anyway, love doctors, love doctors, you are the love gurus. I'm interested in asking a woman out. The thing is, she's much older than I am, and I don't want her to focus on her age when I ask her out, even though I know it's inevitably going to come to mind. We are acquaintances from work, though I no longer work with her, and now I feel like this is my green light to go ahead and go for something I've wanted for a couple of years now. I'm very interested. How do I handle this? Do I acknowledge the age difference, or do I just pretend like it doesn't matter and never bring it up? Well, what is the age difference? That's what I need to know. How large of a gap is there? But no, I wouldn't bring it up. If it's something that's bothering her, she could say it to you, but don't say, hey, I know you're 50 years older than me, but you want to go on a date? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't lead with that. Yeah, I uh, I do agree. I 100% agree. I have nothing to add. I just 100% agree with you. I don't think you acknowledge it. If it comes up, then you talk about it. But I, I think that by even acknowledging yeah. it, you're making it weird. Mm-hmm. And then she'll start thinking about it. Yeah, you just absolutely don't mention it at all. That would kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> And lastly, today, love doctors, love doctors, you are the love gurus. My mother-in-law knows that my husband and I are trying to make a baby and has recently taken to give me advice on positions and tips and tricks that she's Googled on how some couples have been successful conceiving. She'll send me very graphic pictures and screenshots of things that she's found online, and it is super weird. I don't even have that relationship with my own mom. I certainly don't want that relationship with her. How do I politely say, no, thank you. Do not send me things like this anymore. I know it's coming from a good place, but I just don't need this. I honestly am on the mother-in-law's side. You could grow up. You're an adult. What kind of stuff is she sending you? If it's stuff from online and how to make a baby, I'm sure it's just like these stick people kind of showing me positions. (laughs) It's not like full on, whoa, I'm watching these people. No way. She's just trying to help you. And if you're going to be that ridiculous about it, then, yeah, just tell her I'm too immature to get these messages from you. I just have to do this on my own. Um, I see where you're coming from. I do. I think that's super weird thing to send your daughter in law. Really? I think it's helpful. It's nice. She's trying to she wants you guys. She's supportive of you guys trying to have a family. Well, and I, I guess I never realized that your mom was this involved in your and Steven's intimate life. And I guess that's a nice thing that we just accidentally learned about you. <laughs> I don't think that it would be a shocking thing to say to someone that's, even what you just said does. I know this is coming from a good place, but this is weird for me. I, I don't think that we should be talking about this quite so graphically. Like We, we have it under control. Thank you for the feedback, that's advice, just, something like that. I think she just needs to get over it. Well, and that's what she's suggesting. 
that she does to her son. What? <clears throat> just just get over it. <clears throat> Never mind. 